Have you ever tried filming yourself using the high quality camera on the back of your iPhone? It can be a nightmare because you can't see yourself on the iPhone's display. One approach would be to adopt the trial and error method. You would mount your iPhone on a mini or full size tripod and make an educated guess for the correct height and angle of your iPhone. Set the Filmic Pro camera app recording, take up your presenting position for a few seconds. Then go back and check the clip you just shot. If the framing wasn't right, adjust the iPhone height or angle the camera slightly, hit record, and stand in the same spot as before. Now repeat and repeat until the framing is right. Although this method does work, it's not very time efficient and can be really frustrating. We want an easier and quicker method. One option is to shoot 4K Ultra HD footage, but intend to edit and export as HD 1080p footage. If you have a more recent iPhone, you should have the ability to shoot 4K Ultra HD footage. That's twice the resolution you really need for your final online HD video. So there's plenty of scope to reframe the footage by scaling and cropping uh, without losing HD quality. One of my other courses talked about installing Reflector 2 on your PC or Mac and enabling AirPlay mirroring on your iOS device. You can then share your iPhone's display on your PC or laptop monitor, which allows you to frame yourself properly by positioning yourself correctly in front of the lens. That's OK if you're shooting indoors with a good Wi-Fi connection, but if you want to be a bit more mobile and shoot outdoors, or where you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, you need an alternative. One possibility is to use the Filmic Pro Camera Kit, a two-app bundle costing about $19. The kit includes the Filmic Pro Camera app and Filmic Remote. Install Filmic Pro on the iPhone you're going to be filming with and install Filmic Remote on an iPad second iPhone or iPod Touch. Although you can connect your two iOS devices over Wi-Fi, you can also connect peer-to-peer -peer using Bluetooth, so you can shoot outdoors controlling Filmic Pro remotely. Filmic Remote displays what your iPhone is seeing and allows you to control focus, exposure, white balance, zoom, and record operations. If you have multiple iOS recording devices, you can create a multicam setup and control each device from the one copy of Filmic Remote. With Filmic Pro on your iPhone and Filmic Remote on another iOS device, enable Remote in your Filmic Pro device settings. Tap on the Settings gear wheel in the bottom right corner of the screen. Go to Device, and where it says Enable Remote, slide the button to the right. Now open the Remote app on your other iOS device. From within the Remote app, tap the plus button in the bottom left of the screen to search for the iPhone running Filmic Pro. When you see your iPhone's name, tap to connect. Your iPhone will ask for permission to pair the two devices. Select the length of time you're willing to give permission for. If Filmic Remote keeps searching without finding your iPhone, go into your Filmic Pro settings on your iPhone, disable, and then re-enable Remote. Filmic Pro on your iPad or other iOS device should see your iPhone almost straight away and you can connect. With the app set up, mount your iPhone on a tripod and get it roughly at the right height and angle. You can now use your iOS device as a monitor to help frame yourself correctly. In order to frame yourself according to the rule of thirds, tap the greater than symbol at the top left hand corner, then tap the rule of thirds guide icon. Use those third lines and their intersections to compose your shot. If you're unsure, place yourself in the center with your eyes or the middle of your head on or close to the top third line. Now drag the square focus reticle over your face to focus there. Then tap so that the reticle turns red, showing that the focus is now locked. You can now drag the round exposure reticle around until the exposure is as you want it. And again, tap to lock the exposure. The circle will then turn red. When you're ready to start recording, tap the record button and it will become a larger solid circle and the time counter will start advancing. Once you're done, 
tap the record button again to stop. Don't worry if the footage looks choppy on your iPad or whatever you're running remote on. Filmic Pro will record the footage correctly. Incidentally, if you have Bluetooth earbuds, you should be able to monitor your sound whilst you're recording. Although I found it to have a slight delay, and that probably will be distracting if you're listening to yourself whilst recording. Working with the two apps will take a little practice, so I urge you to spend about half an hour or so trying out the Filmic Pro camera kit. With just a little practice, you will become more proficient at using the two apps together, and that way you'll make more videos and more content.